Hey everybody, Ricky from Sherry and Ricky Vlogs here, and today I'm going to be making us some BLTs for lunch. I'm going to be using some Waltney 12 ounce hardwood smoked bacon. I do apologize if it's upside down. I'm not exactly sure which way the camera's going to be facing. So, here's the bacon. It looks pretty decent, pretty fatty, but sometimes it can go that way. I'm going to be cutting it in half using one full slice, well two slices per sandwich. I'm not sure how many I'm going to make, maybe three, maybe four. Depends on how hungry I'm getting in just a second. So, I hope y'all are having a good day. I'm just going to end up cutting this right in half. It's a really, really nice day here out today. Sun's out. Wind's blowing. I don't think it's too cold. So, we've got that cut. I've already got my bag labeled here for spare. Once I'm done with it, got it marked so I know exactly when it goes in, how long I've got to use it. Usually no more than three or four days once I cut it open like this. So I've got stove right over here. I'm just going to heat my pan up and go ahead and, I guess I didn't cut all of it in half, and go through it once more. While the pan's going, I'm just going to go ahead and line it in. I'm sorry y'all if I'm not turning the camera. I'll do my best to try to get everything seen. It's at a weird and awkward angle. I've got to learn how to do this stuff better for y'all. Okay, I can fit four of these pieces in at once. Which means I get to do one sandwich at a time. I wash my hands really quick. Okay, while that's cooking, I'm going to move this cutting board to the side so I can get everything else going. And hear that sizzle. Let me try to angle this just a little bit so y'all can see that. Not sure how crispy y'all like your bacon, but I like mine nearly burnt to where it just falls apart a lot right as soon as you touch it. So, just gonna get my tomato slices going. Gonna cut off this little butt right here. You don't want that in your sandwich, but you know what? That's good enough for me to eat. And so, I like thin slices. But I know some people who like it really beefy and really meaty. I've got my mandolin slicer. You know what? I think I'm going to use that. It's just a lot easier. So bear with me for just a second. I have got to find my little hand guard for it. Because if you're not careful with this little slicer, it can go right through you. Yeah, I know, it's just a cheaty little shortcut, but if it works, it works, and if it works, it ain't stupid, or how does that quote go? For the... There's also another one, keep it simple, stupid. So, just put that right on those prongs there, push it in as much as you can, and then you can line it up. And it's got a whole bunch of different attachments. I can even go thinner than this, but I think this one right here is a perfect size for any kind of sandwich. And then, just start gliding. And then once you start getting towards the end, sometimes it might get a little caught on you. But, there we go. Quick, easy. That part I'll save for myself, and I'll just numb that up whenever I feel like it. 
that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Let's say that nine and a half little slices of tomato here. Okay, I'm starting to get popped on just a little bit, but that's okay. It happens. I'm a big boy. I can take it. Oh, these two pieces got touching just a little bit, so I'm going to separate them. And I'm going to turn everything. I wish I had a big iron plate. I used to have one. It was it had a big handle on it. It was just a piece of flat iron with a pig on it. And that's what they would use, what we would use to uh, keep our bacon from curling. But as it is, there's a lot of fat in it, so it's just going to curl a bit. So I'm going to move our tomatoes here to the side. And grab our lettuce. Now I've been eating on this a little bit. So the pretty looking dark green ones are gone. But this leaves the crunchy inner bits. And sometimes that's the best. Just going to take it and cut straight through it. That I'll just nibble on that later. Take off these little pieces and move them. And then just start to as best as I can, if I can, unravel with nice big leaves. So how do you all like your BLTs? I like just the basic, same with Miss Sherry. Bacon, lettuce, tomato on some mayonnaise and bread. Sometimes we'll use Texas toast. Sometimes we'll just use our regular little honey wheat, which we're using this time. I'm having issues with this, y'all. Y'all know a better way of doing this? Please tell me. Maybe if I start over here? I don't know. I, I, you know, I'm making a mess. That's okay. It's all going to the same place. And then just waiting here for this first little batch of bacon to start getting done. Think that's enough lettuce, y'all, for four sandwiches? I think so. So I'm going to gather this up. Move this over to the side so I can wash it all and dry it in just a minute. I'm going to do that off camera because the faucet can pretend to be a little loud and I don't want to drown out y'all's ears. So let me move that to the side. Ouch. Clean up my little cutting board. Sheba decided to join us, y'all. What do you want? Hmm? Want a treat? Want a treat, Sheba? Let me see if I can move the camera, y'all. I don't know if y'all can see or not, Sheba. Say it. Want a treat? Yes? No? What? You want a treat? This is what we give her, their little... Sweet potato bites things. It's supposed to be good for her teeth and everything. You want it? You want it? <coughs> good girl. There you go. I hope that was on camera, y'all. Alright. Let's get this back over here towards the bacon and everything. Give this another little flip. Now I've got my... I have my pizza pan covered with paper towels, which I'm going to use to drain this in just a second. So while that's going to go for just a little bit more, this is what we're using. Aldi brand honey wheat. Okay, I think that's all good and done. I'm going to grab these off really quick. And just leave these over here. To drain. Now I'm going to get my next batch going over here. 
You know what? It would probably be a smarter thing for me to separate this before I shove it in a pan. I guess I'm not thinking quite right all the way today. But these pieces look pretty fatty to me. And you know what? It's bacon fat, so I'm happy with that. I made a run. But those are going. I'm going to make this first sandwich while that bacon is still nice and hot. So get our Kraft Real Mayo. We like a lot of different types of mayonnaise over here. I think our favorite is Hellman's. Or Best Foods if you're from the West Coast. I never knew they would change the name over here on the East Coast. When I came over here, I was looking for Best Foods, but then all I seen was Hellman's. And that logo is exactly the same. So that was kind of weird for me, but now I know they're the same exact one. Alright. I'm going to get our lettuce leaf right here. I'm going to wash it really, really quick. Sorry for the noise, y'all. Give it a quick shake here in the sink. Dry it off best I can. Nobody likes a soggy salad. It's nice and crunchy. Let me give that one more paper towel go. Alright. So we'll get our lettuce. You know what? I made too much. I apologize. Let me stick this little piece right in here. May have cut up too much tomato too. Because one fits perfectly right in the middle. Then, get our bacon. Just layer it all across. I could have cooked this bacon a little bit longer to get it just a little bit crispier. But, you know what? It's bacon. It'll do. Take it. Cover it. Now I'm going to start a war, y'all. I like to cut my sandwiches diagonally. I think if you cut it straight across, you're wrong. Just that, you're wrong. You're doing it wrong. I'm sorry. So, take it. Cut it right through. The right way. Separate it. And there it is. Just a simple little BLT. Sorry, couldn't resist, had to take a bite. I hope y'all enjoy. Please like, comment, subscribe. And remember, God loves you, so do we. Bye everybody.